What's up, everyone? That's so dumb. What's up, everyone? I'm Stonewall, and I finally built this giant tree house from Laws. All right, I had to zoom out. This thing is just really big. I have had this set for a while. I've just kind of been putting off building it because it's so huge. It's over 4,700 pieces, and it ended up taking me four days to do all the pictures for the uh, speed build for this. So I'd really appreciate it if you watch that video when it comes out. It should be a good one. But this is just a really cool set, and we'll take a look at all the details. As you can tell, it is definitely inspired slash copied from the Lego one, and I'll talk about that. But overall, man, this thing is just really, really cool. I am interested to see what y'all think about the set, but before you leave that comment, be sure to watch the video so you can see everything that it has to offer. So as you can see, this is a really awesome set, and it is huge. At over 4,700 pieces, it's the largest set that I've put together so far, whether it be Lego or Laws. It just has a ton of pieces. I mean, you have this big tree with a little tree house, a bridge over here to this house that has two floors, and then there's kind of some greenery with a river throat or a creek flowing through it. It's just so much in the set. And you're probably already thinking this, this set from Laws is partially copied from Lego and then definitely inspired but with some other sets. The tree and the tree house is pretty much just copied from Lego. Lego has uh, three of these tree houses. This is like the bunk house from the Lego set. And as far as I can tell, it looks pretty much the same except for some color switches. I haven't built the Lego one yet. I have it over here in my to build stack. So I won't know for sure until I build it myself, but looking at pictures, it looks pretty much the same except for a few colors. And the tree is pretty similar too. There is more tiling. Uh, down here so, and I don't know if it's constructed the same way I assume it is however on this set the top of the tree looks bigger to me I feel like it has more limbs and looks a little more fuller than the official Lego set I'm not entirely sure because like I said I'm only looking at the pictures but as of now this one looks a little more full which I like I'm glad they added some more limbs if they indeed did that and then the right side of the set is inspired by the fishing store I would say the old fishing store you have similar siding here with that sand green siding and then you also have fish and uh, some life vests here but the rest of that oh and the roof looks similar as well but the rest of the house looks pretty original all the interior is different and like the first floor and the awnings and this balcony here are all different and original. So half of it is quite different or the other half is pretty much a copy. So I thought I would just point that out first to let you know what you're getting into if you're considering buying this set. If you're new to the Laws mini blocks, they are pretty much just like Lego, except for they are smaller. So they're not compatible. Volume wise, they're about 50% the size. So they are quite a bit smaller, which is great for space and budget. And it's a little more challenging to build in my opinion. And being smaller means it also costs you a lot less. I got the set for around $80 on AliExpress. And in comparison, the Lego one costs $200 retail. So it is quite a bit cheaper. I will show you the mini figures in a little bit. There are four of them, it's a little family. And this set is built on a surprisingly sturdy base here. That is the grass. There's some mushrooms growing here. There's a little pump here that is overflowing currently. On this side, we have a working water wheel. Well, you can turn it is what I mean, which is pretty cool. A little table here, and then there is a swing hanging from the tree house. Turn this around so you can see the backside. You got a nice little patch of dirt here for some chickens. Looks like they've laid an egg in there. And then you have an area here to chop logs and store them covered. So you'll have enough for the winter. And then on the back side of the house, the second floor actually opens, hinges out. And that's similar to the old fishing store, which I was talking about. The top of the tree comes off. It is on a little turntable. So lots of leaves there, like I said. I feel like it has more than the Lego one, but I am not entirely sure on that. These branches you can kind of just hinge up out of the way. The treehouse roof comes off easy enough. And taking a closer look inside, you see there are two bunk beds, one for a boy and a girl. There is a little book. On the side, there's a flower under a glass dome with some binoculars and I think a microscope build. And on the other side, you have a couple dressers with drawers. And then outside, you have a telescope build with a lantern. And then the walkway goes all the way around the treehouse, which is pretty cool. But a cool difference, instead of those stairs that go up to the Lego treehouse, you have this uh, rope bridge that goes over to the second floor of the house, which I think is pretty cool. The roof of the house can lift off like that. There is nothing in the attic. There is this dormer build, but 
it's kind of just for show. There's nothing in there, but it's good addition. I like it. Before we look in the house, let's zoom in over here. I forgot there is a little dog house with a cat in it actually, and it's a sticker on top that says a cat, so I guess it's a cat house. And then there's a barrel with a couple fishing poles in it. And then I know this is copied from the old fishing store, but I love those fish hanging on the outside with the two life preservers there. That looks really cool. And then not only do you have this nice porch on the second floor, you have a nice overhang here with a bunch of greenery growing and some apples growing from there. Moving to the second floor, you can see where the stairs come up from the first floor. And there's a little bed dresser on the side with some makeup and getting ready for the day kind of stuff, like a mirror lamp. There are some curtain builds all around. There is a little sticker of a tree house. I don't know if that's supposed to be this. That sticker was in another law set as well. So I guess it's this one, I don't know. And you can see there's a dresser on this side with some more curtains. And then there's a nice family portrait on the wall here. And then you can take the second floor off as well as the porch. And the porch is connected to the rope bridge with one of those ball joints. And that's actually how all the rope bridge is connected. So you just unconnect that. Looking on the inside of the first floor, you can see there is a family dinner table with a kitchen all around. There's a pretty big stove with a chimney going up or an exhaust vent. You got some plates in the corner there, a fish being washed there in the sink. I guess they just recently caught that. Some flowers, sticker on the wall there. And then on this side, get out of the way branch. And then on this side, you have the nice staircase going up and then just some storage below. Looks like they have picked some carrots and mushrooms from the garden. And you can take this first floor off as well. The first floor is attached to the water wheel. So you just gotta be mindful of that when you take it off and put it together. But you can see it rests on four boulders here. Pretty good foundation. And then the stairs that go up to it are actually attached to the landscaping. You can see that nice creek running through with the translucent clear bricks on top and all the grass. And like I said, this base is pretty sturdy. I mean, you can just pick it up with one hand, at least in this state with the whole house on top of it, you might want to still use two hands, but that base is well built. And it takes a little more effort to put everything back together than it did taking it apart, but it goes back together easy enough. This set does include all the autumn leaves, just like the Lego one does. So you can switch out all those green ones come autumn time. I'm not sure how easy that'll be since a lot of these leaves are actually sandwiched in between the plates. So it looks like it'll be a little more effort than I was originally expecting, but I'll probably switch those out eventually. And the set came with a decent amount of stickers and they all look pretty good. I did leave the green ones off of the window overhangs on the first floor because I don't ever think those look quite good. And then I did leave a sticker off of the tree. It's kind of a cool like carved in the tree sticker, which I don't recommend carving into trees, but it says protect of nature, which isn't really English. So I went ahead and left that off. And now let's look at the little family of minifigures. Here is the dad. He's wearing some blue jeans and has a fishing vest on. The mom figure is wearing some lighter pants with a purple jacket and is wearing some glasses. The two kids both have shorter legs. The son here is wearing some khaki hiking pants and is ready to go hiking. You can see he's wearing a backpack. And the daughter is wearing a fishing vest as well. I guess she's going to go fishing with the dad. And I'm guessing she's a little younger because she has her tongue sticking out. And for some reason, the kids both have these boxy torsos, kind of more like the Lego minifigures. And then the parents have these more rounded torsos like you see uh, normal for the Laws minifigures. And for anyone who's been following along and is interested in a little size comparison, here it is next to the martial arts studio in the Chinatown that I've also built. And you can see just how big this set is. It's definitely way taller. It's not quite as long as the Chinatown one, but it is definitely more pieces and a lot more mass. And it is a showstopper. So there you go, guys, a pretty cool set. Now that you've watched that whole video, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you like this set, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you have the set, I know a few of y'all probably already have the set. Uh, let me know what your thoughts about it are. Overall, I couldn't be pleased. I love the size of it. It's much smaller and the price is right there. It's uh, not great that part of it's kind of copied, but the inspired part, I'm totally fine with it. I think they did a great job and it just has so much to offer. But that's all I have. If you like this content and want to see more, I have tons of Lego stuff on my channel as well. 
feel free to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time.